Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Alex, the Comic Recorder. Thank you so much for clicking play on this video. You guys would not believe. I was looking for a record store because I knew they had comic books at one time. The record store was completely shut down, completely gone, gutted, everything was gone. But there was a pawn shop next door. And sometimes pawn shops have comic books. Like I tell you guys, look for comic books everywhere. If you want to find comic books, you got to look for them. I found an amazing $2,500 comic book in a pawn shop and I will tell you guys exactly the story what I paid for it everything before we get into it I want to thank the sponsor of this video it's hip comic there's a link in the description below definitely click that link it lets them know that I sent you check them out they're a great place to buy and sell comic books online and also once a month they have a signature auction where there's high grade high value comic books and you guys will not want to miss out on such great opportunities to buy books so hopefully you guys are excited about this video here we go I was in Decatur, Illinois today for a lunch appointment with a customer and I knew I had some time before the lunch appointment so I thought to myself I was going to go find a record store that I had visited in the past. This place had awesome records and you guys know me, I try to find comic books wherever I go. So year, years ago, I bought several Bronze Age Doctor Strange, Nova, just all sorts of Bronze Age Marvel stuff from this place for like two bucks a piece. It was great. Uh, that was years ago though. When I went there, completely closed, gutted, the place was looked like abandoned, completely abandoned, no more record store, no more comic books. So I knew there was a pawn shop. And once again, you guys know, I like to shop for comic books every single place I can go. So I went to the pawn shop, immediately I walked in and I saw a case of games, video games. And I was like looking at the games, I was like, oh wow, there's a sealed Nintendo game. And it even had like a K's merchandise sticker on it. And they wanted 150 bucks for it. And I was like, oh man. Uh, so I started looking it up online. Should I get this? If I get it graded, it's like a $700 video game in like pretty much mid to, to upper condition, 700 bucks. I mean, old sold prices. And so I was like, nope, I don't need any video games. So I started looking at guitars because I always need guitar stuff, guitar equipment, I was looking if there's any cool pedals, any decent guitars, and just anything, microphones, interfaces, anything. I was looking for anything. And then the, I caught the, we caught eyes with the lady that was working. She said if I was looking for anything specific. And I said, yeah, weird question. I always ask this when I'm in places, but do you by any chance have any comic books? And she pointed over to the counter, the jewelry counter. And we immediately looked down at the same time and I saw a comic book and I was like, oh, yeah, that's exactly what I'm looking for. Can I can I see that one comic book that they had in the counter? So she said, she pulled it out and I looked at the price. I looked at the book and I was like, yes, absolutely. I, I, I'll buy this. Do you have any other comic books? Yeah, we have a, a case back there behind the counter, independent stuff. So it was like 2000s DC, pre-New 52, but nothing great. And then some independent stuff. And I was like, okay, I'm not interested in that, but I'll definitely buy that comic book. So I'm going to show you guys the back of it first. There's some price stickers on the back. Like I said, this is like a $2,000 to $2,500 comic book graded. So at one time they had $1,500 on this and then they marked it down to $600 and there is a date of 6 So they've had this for, you know, several months now. About eight months, eight, nine months. And actually like 10 months. And then so on, that's not what I paid. They, they marked it down like more than half and then they marked it down again, like cut it in half again. And so I knew absolutely, I would have paid 600 bucks for this book, but they marked it down again and I knew absolutely I had to do it. So without further ado, no more reason to, to just talk about what I paid, but I paid $300. I've got the receipt right here, $327.79. And it's for books, magazines, com art, and collectible. I got uh, Journey into Mystery number 85, the first appearance of Loki. Now I'm going to take it out of this bag, but I wanted you guys to see $300 price sticker. And immediately I knew that's like a $2,000 book. So I looked it up in 2.0 condition. So it's a little faded. It's got some chipping on the edge, but both staples are intact. The book is complete. So it was like at minimum. At minimum, it's a 2.0. So I'm gonna let you guys look at it. There's some writing right there. Staples are intact all throughout the book. It's got some chipping on the side there, which is common for this era of Marvel Comics. I said at a minimum, 
a graded 2.0 just sold for $2,000. A 2.5 was selling for like $2,800 and was recently selling for like $2,300, $2,400. So this is like a $2,500 book if it's like a 2.5, which I'm, I'm going to conservatively grade it at like a 2.5. I really am confident that it would get that because of other uh, 2.5s that I've had in the past. The book is great other than being faded and a little bit of chipping. It's really solid. I wouldn't be surprised if it was a 3.0, but I'm going to take it out, put it in Mylar, and then we're going to take another good look at the book. I counted all the pages. So if you're ever wondering um, how to count pages on a comic book, if it's a pretty standard Silver Age book, you start at the front, front cover, and like the cover is one, page one, then the next page with the splash is page two, and then all the way to page nine and you should be at the centerfold. So you should be at the staples. So there's nine pages to the staples and then nine pages to the back cover. So the book is absolutely 100% complete. It's it's troublesome when you get to you know page eight and you're like, oh crap, I'm at the staples. Then you know the centerfold's probably missing. Or if you count nine and then seven on the back end, you're like, oh crap, they're missing like the two, like either ad pages or letters to the editor page. And so that's when it gets troublesome, but on this one, there was nine pages to the centerfold and then nine pages to the back of the book. If you guys want more information on how that looks, I can definitely potentially do a video on that. So let me know if that's of interest to you guys. But it's something that every collector, especially if you're buying um, bigger books, should be doing before you buy your books. I know Swaggle House just did a video on that and getting burnt. Uh, trust me. I've done it myself too. I buy a book, think it's a great deal. And I'm like, man, I had such a great deal. Whether the seller knew it was incomplete or not. And I'm like, ah, darn it. This wasn't as great of a deal as I thought. As a matter of fact, now it's a pretty much a qualified grade and nowhere near the value that I thought it was. So, okay, so I'm using a Mylar, two mil Mylar with a Comic Pro Line backing board. Super thick backing board, very, very rigid. So it helps protect that comic book. Usually I would use like a E Gerber fullback and then also an E Gerber halfback in one comic. But with these Pro Lines, they don't bend. They're really rigid, really strong backing boards. So I don't really need to use anything other than that. So you guys, here it is. $300 spent for a $2,500 comic book in a pawn shop. Hopefully that gets you guys pumped up. Hopefully that gets you motivated to go out and look for these comic books in crazy places. Talk about comic books when you're out in public with your friends. Say, oh, it's about to rain today. Oh, speaking of rain, one of my favorite comic books has a, a, a rainy cover on it. And then they gets, oh, you like comic books? My grandpa gave me comic books when I was blah, blah, blah. Talk about comic books. If you want comic books, you got to talk about them and you got to ask for them and you got to just go in crazy places, record stores, pawn shops, wherever. But anyways, share your stories below where you, the craziest place you found comic books. I want to thank Hip Comic for sponsoring this video. And thank you guys so much for being subscribers. Thank you so much for hitting that like button and commenting down below. I will talk to you all on the next one. See you. Bye.